Okay, so today we're going to continue with um, some quadrilaterals. We're going to talk about three different quadrilaterals today. A rectangle, a rhombus, and a square. And their definitions are all based on the fact that they are a parallelogram. So a rectangle is a parallelogram with four right angles, which means that everything that we learned on Wednesday about a parallelogram is also true for a rectangle. And then a rhombus is a parallelogram with all four sides congruent. So it doesn't have the angles congruent or right angles like a rectangle, but it does have all the properties of a parallelogram plus it has all sides congruent. And then a square is really doesn't have any of its own new properties, but it's a parallelogram with four sides congruent and four right angles. So it's really a combination of those definitions between the rhombus and the square. So pull up either, well, I'd say if you had it printed, but I just realized that I think if you printed it last week, that, um, or on Wednesday, that the rhombus, I think, wasn't on those notes. So if you could just pull up these notes, you may need to print them again later, or you can just look at them here on the screen. But <clears throat> just like the parallelogram, a rectangle has some properties or some relationships that happen because it's a rectangle. So whenever we have a parallelogram with four right angles, then we also know that the diagonals are congruent. This is something new. It wasn't up here in our parallelogram. Diagonals are not I'll, I'll, I'll put those definitions back up, Faith. Don't worry about it, okay? Just remind me at the end. Um, so these diagonals are going to be congruent on this square, okay? Or rectangle. Now, a rhombus has all of the properties of a parallelogram. So everything that's up here in the parallelogram is true about a rhombus, but also, based on the definition, all lengths, all side lengths are congruent. This is new, diagonals are perpendicular. That means the slopes are the opposite reciprocals. So what that means, the opposite reciprocal thing, means that like if one of my slopes is three halves, the opposite reciprocal slope is gonna be the reciprocal, so flip it upside down. And then the opposite means that it's gonna be the opposite sign. And then a square just has all of the properties of the, the rhombus and all of the properties of the rectangle. And then by default, it also has all the properties of that parallelogram. Okay. So this, this table is going to be something that we're going to kind of refer back to as we start to do the problems for this unit, or for this section, okay? So you'll probably want to either write those down or print them or have them accessible so that when you, on an open tab, so that when you were going back and looking at some of the work, that you're, um, that you're able to like have access to it. So today we're going to look, when we're looking at these special parallelograms, the rectangle, the rhombus, and the square, you note, notice that based on their definitions and the properties, there were some things that had to do with the lengths of sides, 
the lengths of diagonals, and if things were perpendicular. So these are some of the tools that we're going to use to find out that information. So go ahead and write down these formulas. You have them from last semester written down somewhere, but let's just write them down again so that we have them right here to look at. Can you let me know in the chat when you're done with that? Okay, it looks like most of us are getting done here. So um, what we're going to do is we're going to do a problem. So I want to just, I have the an actual problem from your assignment pulled up. Let's go to that. Maybe I need to click on it again. Okay, so these are just some of the, the information that we already wrote down in the notes. And then let's go to just our first problem here. So I'm going to try to make that a little smaller. Okay, so what hap what's going to happen is you're going to be given a figure on the coordinate plane. And then you're going to, are we still live? Wait a minute. Okay, there. I lost our Google Meet, so I couldn't see you guys. Um, so you're going to be given a figure drawn on the coordinate plane. You're going to be asked to draw the diagonals for the for the quadrilateral or for the parallelogram. And then you're going to be asked to find the length of the diagonals um, and the slopes to be able to determine what type of figure it is, whether it's a rectangle, a rhombus, or a square. So first of all, let's draw. We're going to use a line. We're going to connect these, click line, oh, that didn't work, We'll have to play with that a little bit. Make sure that that gets, you guys can draw that in right. But um, I'm using a second screen that's, the, the graphics aren't that great on it. So hopefully you can get that in. Otherwise I may have to work with your points on these a little bit. But it says, then the next thing it says to find the length of the diagonals. Exactly, okay. So I'm gonna go off of this and back to, my document camera. And what I've done is I've done a sketch of that exact problem. So go ahead and copy this down, just so you have the picture in your notes. get those lengths there and then if we go back to our problem find the lengths of the diagonals each of them would be five then the next question here says based on the length of the diagonals is the parallelogram a rectangle so a rectangle, if we go back and look at our sheet, a rectangle has diagonals congruent. So that would mean, yes, it would be a rectangle. Because if it has those properties of a rectangle, then we can say it's also a rectangle. Okay. The next thing asks find us to find the slopes of the diagonals. 
Okay. And we want to find out if they're the opposite reciprocals of each other. So let me go back to our work. I'm just going to kind of slide this over now so that we can have a little more room over here. So let's find our slope. I'll write that a little different. Our slope of AC. I kind of just do a little subscript AC there. So I'm going to be using the points negative 7, 0 and negative 2, 0. So we're going to go back up to the top there. Our formula is subtracting the y values, then subtracting the x values. So subtract the y values first, 0 minus 0, and then subtract the x values, negative 7 minus negative 2. So that's going to be 0. These change to addition, so it's going to be negative 5, or 0 divided by anything is just 0. Then we have to find the slope of the other diagonal, BD. So we're using the points negative 3, 2, and negative 6, negative 2. So why don't you go ahead and take a few minutes and find the slope of BD. When you get that, can you put it in the chat? So we have a denominator of, or a slope of 0 and a slope of 4 thirds. Are those the opposite reciprocals of each other? No, because the opposite reciprocal of 4 thirds would be negative 3 over 4. The opposite reciprocal of this one, we would have come up with something like positive 5 over 0 at this point. So these are not opposite reciprocals of each other, meaning that these two segments, these two diagonals, are not perpendicular. Or you can say they're not right angles. They don't form right angles. So let's go back to the problem and see what we can answer from our problem with that. Okay, it says find the slopes of the diagonals. So one is zero. One is four thirds. And then based on the slopes of the diagonals, is it a rhombus? So remember, if you look back at your sheet, a rhombus, the diagonals have to be perpendicular. So is this a rhombus? Give me a yes or a no. Thumbs up or thumbs down? Yep, it's no, it's not a rhombus. Okay, so the next question says, is the parallelogram a square? So what do you say there? It's not asking us to find anything, but just based on the information above, is it a square? I see a no. Anybody else agree? Okay, there would be a no, because in order, according to our sheet, a square has to have the properties of a rectangle and a rhombus. So we would have had to been able to say yes to both the rectangle and the rhombus in order for it to be able to be a square. So this would be no. Okay, so that's the work that you're doing for all these problems. Okay, are there any questions?